hello friends good morning welcome back to our channel this is the boss repairs today i want to show you how google frp works you see the little lock here at the top it shows you this phone is still locked to the previous google account and if you are maybe someone that just forgot your details you are not so good at keeping or writing down your password you forgot then when you wipe your device maybe you want to pass it on to the next person it has this lock on you have a problem with that device because the person cannot use it so i will try to explain to you how this works so the first part of this whole process is getting internet connection when you get the internet connection then you want to connect on the internet after you connect on the internet then there's basic apps that you need to get from the internet so you can bypass the the old previous google account and then you can make the phone work again so that's a, it's a simple step which we're gonna do but i just break it down now to explain to you what i'll be doing so everything that i just explained now i will do them now and i'll explain i will go with you through the way and show you everything that needs to be done so this is a mobicell r1 plus and it has a lock so we can't go in if we try to to to, to log into the device it's going to ask for the previous login details so the first thing you want to do is you want to connect to a wi-fi network or you put a sim card which has data on it but i always advise the wi-fi is better if you have a good wi-fi connection so it <coughs> it's busy loading i just want to show you what it's going to show if maybe you try wiping your device or resetting your device and then you are faced with this um, google reset lock frp lock <clears throat> but by the end of this video you will know how to bypass this google frp lock or how to take it out but you must know this this um, method is gonna work for the older devices maybe android 7 so and then basically for the chinese friends like stylo mobicell hisense and all the names that are out there so they, they work just the same you see they're asking for the previous password and for this device i know the details of this device but i just do it for illustration purposes to teach someone out there if you are faced with such problems what you can do to fix that problem so it's, it's loading and you see there so that's the screen showing you you have to verify your account and this is the lock that we want we're going to buy, we're going to bypass in this video <clears throat> so i'm just going to start right away you want to go back to the wi-fi screen and then you want to see all networks and then you add a new network and then you come to the mic sorry yeah by the mic it shows you here yeah, allow i'll just go there touch it again how you get this allow by when you touch first on the mic you deny they will ask you to give a confirmation you deny when you deny when you reject it or you deny it then you come again and press then it's gonna show you allow but when you click there it shows you allow you click in it goes to app info you want to go to permission and then on the search bar sorry on the search bar not on the three dot i will just get this search bar you want to type settings and search it now it's gonna take a while but you have to be patient you don't have to rush okay there it goes settings If you don't get the settings here, you just remove one of the S and then you search again. Okay, now with the settings here, you touch the app. Uh, you want to open settings. Okay, now we're in settings. We want to go to... We want to go to apps and notifications. Mind you, every phone has a unique way of bypassing the FRP, but this will work for most of the Chinese phones out there especially on android version let me just check the android version you can see there's a r1 plus 
So when I say it's Android version 10, so from six, six to ten, I think it was still it's still gonna work. And then we wanna go to apps. Go to the installed apps. You wanna go to show system. And then Android setup for stop disable. And then storage. You want to clear the storage and the catch. And then you go to the other Android setup for stop. Go to the storage, clear the catch. And then you want to go to Google Account Manager. So Google Play services and then you want to first stop that and disable that as well then storage you must clean that and then you can now go back now what you want to do if you notice we did deactivate the Android setup and the Google Play services those two and then we go out of it to the start So now I go to start. Go. I don't know if you can see the setup offline. So what is what this is showing you is it's open at the moment, but you can't use it because Google Play services needs to be enabled for the phone to properly work. So we're gonna quickly go and enable Google Google Play services alone, and then we come back here, and then we bypass that. So I will just quickly go back to the mic and then I click there. Permission, search, settings. It's basically the same thing. Just, just. Settings. settings go to app quickly go there all apps you go to disabled app google play services you enable quickly once it's enabled once it's enabled you will see here disable i just enable it quickly So it's now enabled, so you must make sure it's enabled. Then you go back out. And then you can cancel here, and then you touch. Now you can go through, set up offline. It's gonna disconnect your Wi-Fi, but at least the job is done. So when you start seeing Google Play services, Google services, you know it's done. All you need to do is to just do the next, next, next till you get into the phone. But the main thing is you bypassed <coughs> the Google account of this phone, the Mobicel R1. So I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you did, you must like and subscribe to our channel because there's more interesting videos coming up which you're gonna show you detailed process step by step on how you can fix these simple problems at home we then necessarily go into the repair shop and spending tons of cash so thank you so much for watching you can see the phone is open there's no longer a google lock Thank you so much for watching and see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.